<laughs> guys, red is sus. <laughs> guys, you get it? The red astronaut man. Yes. Jesus fucking Christ, yes. I get it. You know, it wasn't long ago that no one actually knew what Among Us or games of its genre were. For the most part, the genre of the quote-unquote imposter versus the innocent was pretty niche. Sure, some of us played Town of Salem back in the day, but otherwise this genre had yet to hit the big scene. And then Among Us came out, and the genre still didn't land. And then, randomly, as is the way of the internet and the algorithms that so often decide our lives, two years later the game caught fire, soaring through the ranks of stardom to where it sits now as the game that every single person on the planet is making memes about until it ultimately becomes so annoying that people vehemently turn against it and its player base. I call this cycle of fame the quote-unquote Fortnite effect, but honestly it's been around for as long as human beings have been willing to pile onto bandwagons and then consequently burn them down. Anyways, I have nothing against Among Us, and frankly I have nothing really to say about it. I played the game for 10 or so rounds and then promptly put it down. This isn't because I didn't like the game, it's fine, and it's a perfect introduction and casual approach to the genre that opened up plenty of people to a new type of video game they hadn't experienced before. And you know what, if people are having fun playing it, then I think that's great. But the reason I uninstalled and refunded Among Us was simply because, well, there's a better version of it. Full of more exciting and easy to understand gameplay mechanics, 3D graphics that definitely still hold up even years after release, and oh yeah, the game is 100% free to play. This game is called Deceit, and let me tell you, it is so, so, so damn good. I first found this game like many of us bored folk stumble upon any new gem. I was mindlessly browsing Steam when the rabbit-eared mascot of the horror mystery game stuck out to me. I clicked the game and naturally watched the trailer, which quickly explained the entirety of the game, its objectives and mechanics to me all in about three minutes or so. Then I clicked the price and uh, ho holy shit, the game is completely free to play. So I bought it? and recommended a couple of friends do the same. Most of those friends blew me off and refused to play it, but those that did, oh boy, oh boy, were they in for a treat. Deceit is pretty simple. You are one of seven people who have been abducted into a Saw-esque scenario in which a random pair of players has been experimented on and turned into quote-unquote terrors, or the titular monsters of the game whose objective it is to drink enough blood so that they can turn into monsters and eat the other five people alive. From that point forward, the terror's objective is pretty simple. You either kill or vote out all of the innocent players. While the innocent player's main objective is simply to survive long enough to open the escape hatch and leave the experiment and its monsters behind. Now, of course, social deduction games aren't exactly a new thing, but pair this classic concept up with a bunch of nifty gadgets, weapons, and accessories, and what you have is a truly unique and, in my opinion, superior take on the classic imposter type style game. The setting of Deceit easily makes it a horror game, filled with unnerving moments of truly fear-inducing adrenaline, as you nervously stumble through the darkness of arctic laboratories or cabin-in-the-woods type forests in search of fuses that will turn the power back on or ammunition traps and cameras that will allow you to stun terrors should you be so unlucky to encounter one. However, the fact that players can communicate not through the use of text or even Discord, but instead through the optimized in-game voice comms available, makes Deceit the single-handedly most hilarious game I have ever experienced on this earth. One second you'll be hiding in a bush as two terrors sniff about, only steps away from you, unable to pinpoint you through the thick foliage and fog. And the next second you'll be watching some drunk-ass schlub begging for his life as the Court of Innocence decides his fate. <laughs> and 
And look, I know, I know, that's why a bunch of people love Among Us, for those wacky player-driven dialogue moments where people argue with each other and plead for support, but to be fair, I I'm not trying to say Among Us is a bad game or not worth playing, I think it's a great game. Rather that Deceit really takes the entire concept to another level by delivering on several aspects that I have never seen from any other games in this genre. Those being that, and I know this might sound a little corny, but the fact that this game is formatted in a 3D first-person setting really adds something unexplainable to the gameplay. One might even say it adds a whole nother dimension. Look, I I'm sorry, I, I like puns, okay? But seriously, things get real. You're actually able to competently hide from monsters by crouching under desks, behind trees, and in bushes, and using weapons like the camera, the gun, or traps becomes skill-based and nerve-wrackingly tedious, as terrors charge at you and attempt to snap your neck. And even after you've witnessed a person transform back into a human or brazenly drink blood in front of you, you're never guaranteed a chance to vote them out because Deceit has no centralized voting period or emergency meeting where players have the chance to vote infected out. Instead, Deceit turns the aspect of voting other players out into a skill-based portion of gameplay where you have to physically find the person you want to vote out and deal enough damage to them so that they get downed. Then, you have to convince the people around you to actually vote them out, which is an entirely different challenge. And those who are being pursued can in turn dodge bullets and duck behind cover, making voting players out a much more difficult ordeal overall. And when the lights go out, you can no longer vote people out, meaning that the terrors are allowed to come out and play, and you are in turn at the mercy of the people you think you can trust and the monsters who are trying to hunt you down. And the crazy part is that even with all this being said, Deceit has deep levels of gameplay and strategies that I haven't even had the chance to explain yet. And if I'm being honest, that's one of my favorite things about playing Deceit. It sets new players up with everything they need to know to play the game competently, and then slowly introduces players to new strategies and maneuvers as the game grows on them. I'm still learning new things about this game every time I play it, and I've been playing it for over a year now. Deceit is a seamless blending of horror and comedy, a seamless blend of the FPS and social deduction genres, and a seamless blend of casual and skill-based gameplay that's just so juicy and full of replayable delightfulness that you'll be begging your friends to play this game with you until the end of time. Winning in Deceit is fun. Helping others win in Deceit is fun. Hell, some of my fondest memories of playing this game come from the times that I have flat out lost, and for someone with a naturally competitive approach to multiplayer games, that's a novel feeling for me. If you love Among Us and you're looking for another and in my opinion more fleshed out version of a social deduction genre, look no further, because Deceit is here. Hell, Deceit has been here, and it is so damned good. If you are interested in playing Deceit with me or other members of this wonderful community, go ahead and follow the link in the description down below. There, you can join this channel's Discord and hang out with all the wonderful members of the So Good community. Sometimes we play games, sometimes we share memes, sometimes we just talk. And if that sounds like something that interests you, go ahead and join down below. With that, this has been So Good, reminding you once again to go out there and be honest, be deceitful, but most importantly, keep on loving good stuff.